Just when we thought that the drama between Taraji and Oprah was wrapping up, new reports are coming out that Oprah made things 10 times messier after she went off on Taraji and blamed her for causing the color purple to flop miserably at the box office. The film barely made half of its $140 million budget despite releasing over a month ago with a lot of promo. So according to the latest reports, the film already went digital due to its horrible performance at the box office. And all the producers are now blaming Taraji and all that she said at the promotional tour for causing the movie to fail. Now, when Taraji initially started speaking out and calling out the BS, Oprah and the producers of the movie put her through. Oprah tried to do some damage control, but none of that really worked out because according to sources, some Hollywood executives and Oprah are already plotting to blackball Taraji for making them lose so much money as a result of the bad publicity that she gave the movie with all of her rants about pay inequality. Handle. I just so well, I don't even know, know what no beef. I don't even know. Between. You know what? It's so disturbing to me. Why is my name even in this conversation? Uh, uh, say- okay, so as most of y'all already know by now, Taraji and Oprah got into it about a month ago when Taraji exposed Oprah for underpaying her for being in the color purple. She said she had seen a raise in her salary since Proud Mary, which came out six years ago. And she even rejected the offer to star in The Color Purple, because the initial offer made by Oprah was ridiculously disrespectful. As a black woman, you know, we do it with so much grace and get paid half the price of what we're worth. And that becomes difficult. I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. Almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm. And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the f- am I doing? I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, don't apologize. <laughs> And then they tell me we don't translate overseas. Yeah. 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 I'm tired of hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game. And I hear the same thing. And I see what you do for another production. And when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play in your face. When you see a black woman up here, baby, we jumped hurdles to get here. We fought all the obstacles. Get it paid less than. And we do it with grace. We do it with grace because when we speak up too much, we're considered angry. I'm trying to give you lessons here. She also revealed during a heated interview with New York Times that she and her other castmates were given rental cars to make themselves drive to and from set every day. The reason why everybody felt some kind of way about this was because first, the actors sometimes work for 12 to 16 hours a day. So by the time they clock out from set, they're too exhausted to do them very long drives back home. Plus, let's not forget, these are celebrities driving with no security. I mean, that's an issue within itself. Also, these are rental cars, so any damage done to them is gonna be paid for by the actors out of their already very low paycheck. Taraji said, I can't drive myself to set in Atlanta. This is an insurance liability. It's dangerous. Now they robbing people. What do I look like taking myself to work by myself in a rental car? So I was like, can I get a driver or security to take me? I'm not asking for the moon. They're like, well, if we do it for you, we gotta do it for everybody. We'll do it for everybody. It's stuff like that, stuff that I shouldn't have to fight for. I was on set for Empire fighting for trailers that wasn't infested with bugs. And then there was that viral video of a body language analyst on TikTok reading the awkward body language between Oprah and Taraji at one of the promo runs for the movie that pretty much confirmed that there was tension between them. We're going to go over body language. Let's look at Oprah. You see how she looked at Taraji and quickly looks away. And now look at Taraji. Look at her legs. She locks it away from Oprah, looking up, fluttering her eye, trying to hold back tears. But she's trying to be professional. But she leans into Oprah. Oprah pulls away. 
fake laugh. We all know that's fake, that's fine. But they're trying to release it, that negative energy outside their bodies. Oprah's all closed up, she's not even trying to open up and was closing in on Oprah. Oprah pulls out, trying to find an escape, goes right behind Gano Brooks, and look at Taraji Faze. She's just like not having it. And notice how Oprah suddenly now open up with her arms and look at Fantasia's face, look at Taraji as if we're almost to the ending of this, don't worry. Something definitely happened here. And now look at how Oprah has her arms and her hand, you know Oprah don't touch people like that. And then you see how loud they're singing track. As if this wasn't already bad enough to give the movie some major bad press, Danielle Brooke also put the whole production team on blast for starving them on set and make them take turns sharing the same trailer. Danielle revealed this during a sit-down interview with Taraji and Oprah. She claimed her, Fantasia, Taraji, Hallie, Sierra, and all of the rest of the cast had to take turns sharing the same trailer whenever they had to to change or get themselves together. And child, did y'all see the look on Oprah's face? Miss Girl was stressed out and quickly swooped in to defend herself. <laughs> Taraji. Taraji, as Blitz, uh, our director, says. I mean, I have been watching her from the beginning. And to just have someone just be a guide for us, be our voice box. I remember when we first came in and we were doing rehearsal and they put us all in the same space. Like we didn't have our own dressing rooms at the time and they did not give us, it. sorry, Miss O, we didn't have no food. She had no idea. <laughs> she, she didn't know what was going on. She had no idea. I heard about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you corrected it for yeah, us. Corrected you corrected I it. You. Didn't I call you? Yes. I and I was like, Miss O, we got to fix this. <laughs> and she said, say less. And was it not And fixed? that's what I appreciated, though. You were our voice. Because a lot of times, yes, I've done a lot of TV, I've done a lot of films, uh, specifically independent films. But this is my first studio film. So sometimes you do come in just saying, okay, well, I'm gonna just take whatever they give me. I'm just happy to be here, you know? But you spoke up for us and you showed me how to do that. But what I've really enjoyed is your sisterhood is authentic and it's real. It's not this fake. Now, when Oprah saw how bad things were becoming, she was afraid that all this bad promo could possibly ruin the movie's box office income. So she immediately tried to do some damage control by allegedly forcing Taraji to backtrack on everything she said. Taraji then ended up posting a photo of her and Oprah from the press tour, calling Oprah a beacon of light and praising her for being supportive. She said, Miss Oprah has been nothing less than a steady and solid beacon of light to all the cast of the color purple. She told me personally to reach out to her for anything I needed, and I did. It took one call, one conversation, and one decision-making black woman to make me feel heard. Oprah also followed it up with a post of her own, showering Taraji with praises and inviting her into the sisterhood. But despite all these desperate attempts by Oprah to save the film from flopping, the very bad publicity publicity ultimately overshadowed the film and it ended up doing very badly. The film initially started off very strong, raking in over $18 million in the first day of its release. However, immediately after this, it started to tank and the numbers got smaller and smaller. According to reports, the film was given over $100 million as its budget and $40 million was later used in promo, but it's only grossed 50 58 million since the release. A source who recently spoke to Media Takeout also revealed that the executive producers at Warner Brothers recently went off on Oprah for allowing Taraji to ruin the film's success with all of her rants, and that they already have plans of blackballing Taraji to send a strong warning to other black actors to never try to do this again. The source said, executives blame Taraji Henson for derailing the promotional efforts of the film and 
using it as a selfish opportunity to change her personal narrative as an aging and underpaid actress. But while Taraji is taking some heat, so is Oprah for not controlling the legendary actress. The source added, Oprah should have taken Taraji to the side when she noticed she was taking the promotional efforts in a negative place. The source also exposed Oprah for fabricating lies about the film grossing 18 million at its first day. Because according to official reports by IMDb, it only made 11 million. And to add up to that, not all of the 58 million that the film has made so far is gonna go to the studio because the theaters that played it are gonna be taking half the revenue. The source said the color purple made less than 12 million in its opening weekend and has to date grossed 58 million. And that gross 58 million number does not go to the studios. One studio executive explained the studio will only get about 24 million. The other half will go to the theater that showed the film with a budget of 100 million plus marketing. The film has, as of now, lost at least 75 million. Oh, but the source wasn't done yet because they were still spilling all the tea. Apparently, this film was also supposed to be Oprah's big comeback into the industry with her production company, Harpo Film Studios. After the last two films she produced, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lack and Beloved, also flopped miserably at the box office. But Taraji messed this up for her. The Color Purple was supposed to be the huge breakout hit for Oprah's Harpo Film Studios. Instead, it's turning out to be a pretty huge embarrassment for the studio and Oprah. Child, I guess this is the end for Taraji and her career because her speaking out did the exact opposite of what she was hoping it would do. She just pissed off Oprah and a bunch of executives and they are not gonna let this slide without trying to make an example of her. Now, as usual, people had a whole lot to say about this mess. Like this person who said, Taraji single-handedly aided in the demise of this movie. She didn't give a damn about any of the other actors. Actresses negotiate their salary based on their previous box office. So her not trying to make this movie successful was foolish on her part. Taraji not getting nominations because she wasn't the star. I'm sure it also played a role on her crying tour. As for whether people came out to see the movie or not, people were not going to see it because people didn't want the remake. This movie is another example of crabs in a barrel and black folks derailing each other. Another person said, my fear for Taraji P is that her movie role offers might dry up. This movie got overshadowed by her comments. Almost every headline during the promotion or red carpet were about Taraji being underpaid or Warner Bros underpaying her or that the commendations were insignificant. But now I want to know your thoughts on this. What do y'all think about Oprah going off on Taraji for making the color purple flop? And do y'all think Taraji's career is really going to go down from here? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.